How should President Trump respond to this latest attack on the United States? For that, we turn, as we often do, to Fox senior political analyst Britt Hume. So, Britt, what, what's traditionally the president's role right now in something like this? Well, the president attempts to, you know, relay a message of strength and confidence and calm and reassure people and express determination that this terrible enemy will, in the fullness of time, be defeated. Um, what I would note, though, Tucker, about this moment is that it coincides, as, you're, as Jillian was just saying earlier, with the uh, evident, almost complete defeat and rout of ISIS from its headquarters in Raqqa. This was a moment we've been waiting for for a long time because a lot of our counterterror strategy stemmed from the idea that if we crush these ISIS forces where they have established this caliphate and we deprive them of the image that was thought to be so inspiring to, to up and coming potential terrorists that they were winners that the impulse to join them and to participate as their agents around the world would dissipate. Now maybe it will. But at the moment, um, it is striking that this attack occurs just as that other development is happening. I wonder if the people who said that, and you often heard people say that, really believed it was that simple. Are they so simple that they believed it was that simple? Or are they just saying that? No, they, no, I, no I don't think they, that anybody ever said it was that simple. I think they said that you know, one of the things you need to do in order to suppress this stuff is to deprive ISIS of its uh, of of its image as the as the ascendant force, right. as you know the the team to be on. Now you know it should also be said that one of the things that's bound to happen over time is is it will become clear as if it hasn't already to millions around the world that these attacks, as hideous as they are, and as much as we mourn the losses, cannot possibly bring down Western civilization. It, it simply, these t attacks cannot do that. Bigger attacks cannot do that. It is a hopeless undertaking. Now, yes. that doesn't mean they won't keep trying, and it, may mean, and, it, and it doesn't mean that many of them are so imbued with the idea that they have such a reward in heaven that when they give themselves up for Allah and commit acts of mass murder, that the glory is going to be so great that, uh, that it'll make up for the pain and risk they're undertaking. You know, you, you, you can't completely account for that. But those are a couple of things that, that are worth keeping in mind, it seems to me, tonight. That's wise advice, as always. Britt Hume, thank you.